What's happening? I'm Aaron, and today I have a special exciting experience for you, and this is that we find ourselves in the home of one of DC's greatest traditions of modern time. Artwork, you say? Majestic, enthusiastic, talking animals, maybe? Well, even more than that, we're finding ourselves here in the heart of DC's roller derby. That's right. You want to know more of what I'm checking out? Follow me this way. So I have with me a special champion. We find ourselves here in the midst, in the midst of the awesomeness. How it's do you so feel? Awesome. Do you feel tingles? I do. Every time yes. I kind of, you know, get on Bounty, I'm like, ooh, it's Bounty. <laughs> I love it. No, I love, one of my favorite parts about roller derby, absolutely, because I have expansive knowledge about everything. Obviously. The nicknames. Yes. Yours is? So my derby name is Ella Fist Gerald. Um, everyone calls me Ella, but that is the, my uh, name. I actually love it because my dad came up with it. Um, so shout out to dad, he did a great job. Um, everyone job really man. loves the name. <laughs> how did you come up with I mean, how did you come up with this? Yeah, like, so this everyone kind of takes their dirty name differently. It's your identity. I really love it because it allows you to embody this powerful person who you are on the track. Um, I came up with it because music is something that's been in my life since I was very young. It's really mm -hmm. important to me. Um, Ella uh, Fitzgerald is a very powerful woman. She's made a lot of great history, so I hope I make her proud and uh, make her proud on the track. So uh, my wife, Maggie, her roller derby name is Scarmitage Hugs from uh, from Star Wars. Oh, of course, so, dude. Scarmitage gotta... Hugs. This is exciting. So what, what is uh, what's her number? Twelve. Twelve. Okay. So when we see her, we can be like Scarmitage. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Or just okay. Hugs. Hugs is easier. Hugs, hugs is way. <laughs> so what's my nickname? Can you give me a nickname today? Okay. Tell me your full name. Aaron Bond. Aaron what? Aaron Bond. What about Aaron Bond? Or Adam Bomb. Adam Bomb? Yeah. I'm Adam Bomb. I'll explode on you. Oh, that God. sounds really rated R. I didn't mean it to sound that awful. Cut. <laughs> so, so tell me, how was this different than what you've seen on TV? What was the big exchange there? Not as much violence that you see on TV. <laughs> However, being up front, we're sitting on the floor right around, right around where the where the team goes by. Pretty exciting. Yeah. Hearing the the hits and on the ground and each other, but yeah, it's, it's very different. Awesome. See, okay. so when people watch this on TV or they hear about it, <laughs> they think like the fist fights, right? They think totally. of the big. Yes. What is the what is the legal connection of bodies there? So it's pretty um, regimented in terms okay. of how you can hit somebody or how you can be hit. Okay. Okay. So there's certain body parts. Okay, demonstrate um, on me. Like yeah, a okay. okay. So basically, yes. the whole front of you, from your knees to your neck, you can use to hit somebody else. So I can... Yeah, okay. like it's full like this. Okay. But you can't do elbows and down. So no elbows, no forearms. Okay. Now the part that can be hit okay. is everything from here to the knees, but not down the middle. Okay. So it kind of looks a little awkward sometimes, and it's kind of awkward to figure out how to hit somebody. So it's, it's really... Because you just want to like throw your arm, but you can't. <laughs> you can't do that. None of that. So, so it has to be like like walrus is reaching water. Kind like, of what it looks like and feels okay, like, yeah. Okay. What position do you play? So mainly on the track, I'm a blocker, and usually as a blocker, I am our track lead, which is kind of like the quarterback, the person calling the plays. So okay. um, maybe if you're listening while you're watching, you might hear my voice telling my team what to do strategy-wise. Okay. So with Derby, you're always playing offense and defense simultaneously. So um, a lot of quick strategies. So kind of like that controller moving everyone around on the track. I'm a blocker, but I'm training to be a jammer. My coach will say, you're not a, just a blocker, you're a jammer too. So Okay, so uh, for the people we'll at see. home, tell me what the difference is. For the people at home, Bloggers like like to just take up their space and stay solid in their space and keep okay. people out of it and to Perfect. protect their jammers. Um, and a jammer is this wily creature <laughs> who is just looking for any holes and to get around. I'm always looking for the other team okay. to try to stop them and hit them, Okay. Um, which is why transitioning into being a jammer where I actually need to not look for them but actually look for my teammates, ah. it's, a, it's a different way to look at the track. <laughs> so what about your family? Like, Are they super supportive? They come to games? Yes. Like, what's that like? Yeah, so it was really funny actually when I told my mom that um, and my dad obviously that I was like doing this sport, my dad just kind of did the whole like worried dad thing, you know? And my mom <laughs> was like, well, I'm not sure about this. Okay. But if you like it. So I invited him to a game, um, and immediately after the first half, like my mom had all this feedback. She was like, you're still figure skating, and this isn't figure skating, so I'm gonna need you to get lower. I'm gonna need you to use your butt. 
because that's what all the other girls are doing. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you're getting into the movement to push off, right? Exactly. And so my mom kind of became like my second home coach, and mm -hmm. I. Remember the last game that she came to when I uh, transferred to DC from my original league? She um, really just like came to me at the first opening of the game, and she's like, "Remember what you're doing today? You're here to hit. That's you're awesome. here to be strong." <laughs> and I was like, "All right, Captain, let's do this." You know? So you've been yeah. doing this a while now. You've been exposed yeah. to the roller derby. Yeah. This is incredible. Okay. So was it? Uh, how did you make that switch that you wanted to do it personally? What was it that drove you to do that? Um, it was. Honestly, I was a bored stay-at-home mother. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, but I was also in a new city, mm -hmm. and so I wanted to make friends, but I didn't want it to do it the traditional route, which yeah. is like mommy groups. I gotcha. Because then you feel like the only reason that you are friends with these people is because you both have children, and that really doesn't bind people. That's very true. Um, but sports. I, yeah. sports. Sports is, bind people. Yeah. yeah. That's so true. I, every time I try to join a mommy group, they always kick me out, too. Yeah, so it, just, it doesn't feel good. Even though you would get along with them perfectly. <laughs> I started skating with the DC Roller Girls in March of this year, so I'm pretty new, but still getting on my feet, or wheels as it were, um, and uh, figuring out the lay of the land and you know how to score some points for the team. We run boot camps where we teach everyone how to skate everything you need to know. So I would go to our boot camps on Sunday morning, strap on my skates. Um, I got there and learned how to skate and then learned the strategy, the contact safely, the rules. Um, and now I've been batting for about four years. That's incredible. So you didn't have to know everything up front, but you can learn it as you go. Exactly. You need to know nothing to start derby. Look into the camera and just tell you people. You need to know nothing. We'll teach you all you need to know. <laughs> Any roller derby league that you're around wants you to join. No matter your size, your age, um, they don't care. So there's a place for everybody. There's a place, there's for, a place everyone. for everybody. For all those people out there, look at the camera and you tell them, what should they know? Why should they come to this event? You want to see? They should come to this event because they probably don't know too much about roller derby and they'll learn all about it and see how exciting it is to watch. All right, so last question. Yeah. I want to cheer for you tonight. I want okay. to cheer. What What should I say? Is there like a cheer for the yes. team? So DC okay. has a cheer. If you think of the DC yeah. flag, there is the three stars and the two bars. Yeah. So our cheer is three stars, okay. two bars, one heart. Because one we are heart. one team. We are DC. We have one heart together. I love three it. stars, two bars, one heart. Three stars, two, two bars, bars, one, one heart. heart. <laughs> That's a great thing. Thank, Thank you. My You're pleasure. amazing. My pleasure. What you saw right here was some of the best roller skating action hits you will ever see on a hardwood surface. Doesn't matter where you go. This was kind of incredible. I'm inspired. I feel like doing a little bit of this myself. I'm going to find out how. If you're curious, feel free to check out their website, DC Roller Girls. This is legit stuff, okay? Find the link right here or up here, wherever they decide to put the link. But it's here. We'll find it. Thank you for checking out Just Visiting TV. I'm Aaron, as always. So a big thanks to you for watching. Let me know your thoughts for future, and I will check you next time. Peace. <laughs> well, what would you say? You look at that camera. You tell your wife something that you're proud of her or whatever. Whatever you want. All right. Last a year ago this May, you broke your leg in five places, and you got right back on the track, and you're killing it out there. Thank you so much. I love you. He does. He has to. He's not being paid to say that, but this is probably. Miles, thanks for hanging out with us today. Thanks we really very appreciate much. it, man. Thank you.